Hello, I'm Dr. Mary Jo Ruggieri. I'm a holistic health professional. And welcome to Staying Well with Dr. Mary Jo. Energy part three. Let's apply what we did in part one and two. What was energy about? What was electromagnetic force? We try to explain the whole concept that we as human beings, the life force on the planet, animals, we're all energetic beings. We're all at a vibrational level. Now, the most important thing in staying well is we have a complete training system and, and science behind how to balance energy. Is it stress? Yes. Is it being able to breathe and calm your body? Yes. Once your circuit breakers get overloaded, you are in crisis and it's chronic. So what we as energy practitioners, whether you're talking about Reiki, whether you're talking about polarity therapy, whether you're talking about meditation, yoga, all of these systems work with the internal process of you being a vibrational system and a whole electrical system. You know, you do that, you know, in your, in your house. You know, if your circuit breakers are overloaded, they close off. If there's not enough energy coming into your house, guess what? You can't turn the lights on or things flicker. So, Today, I'm going to just give you a sample of what energy practices are. They're non-invasive, they are effective, they calm people, they work in changing the stressors physically, physiologically, which are the start of all diseases and conditions. So we're working with Shannon today. There's various types of energy balancing. Shiatsu, you know, again, like I said, Reiki, reflexology, all of it works on the energetic system, understanding like an electrician. So the first thing we do is we always come to the body and you can actually do on the body or you can do off the body. And so often we study, like an electrician, we study the patterns of the circuit breakers. We call these lines of force. We can find out where the energy is being knotted or tightened or not flowing, like tightening a knot in a hose. So we find those areas, we can feel them, we can, there's, there's muscle, muscle tightness, we can, there's a lot of variables there. And the, what we know is exactly the acupressure points and how to work the circuit breakers. There's one really profound one that we use in many of the modalities, polarity therapy uh, and Reiki, it's called the star work. And as Shannon's, you know, sometimes we may just even brush the body down, but I can start with doing diagonals, powerful are the diagonal lines, and just hold the hip and hold the shoulder. Sometimes in polarity we might rock a little bit. Again, if we find tightness, we can interview the person, we can tell through their mental, their physical, their emotional cues, which one of the elements are out of balance, where the energy is not connecting, where they're angry, where they're frustrated, where they have pain. Pain is energy that is imbalanced. So we hold in this star and we can just hold this. Sometimes we can move to the other side and do a cross. And it's very light touch sometimes. In Reiki, you can do off the body where you may hold right in the North Pole part of the body. Again, electromagnetic force, we consider the poles and hold right over the navel you can feel slight, slight heat coming off. You know, holding and touching is very healing. If you know, if you're qualified and you're trained well, you know how to do, do what circuit breakers. Also, I just want to show you that in the hands, the hands have five fingers and each finger has an energetic pole, ether, air, fire, water, and earth. Oftentimes, we will do an acupressure point right in the thumb and just hold that and that balances if there's any pain mechanisms. If you understand energy science and energy theories, what, you, what happens is that you can actually tell if there's a shoulder problem, a physical muscular problem, you can say, okay, that's an air thing. I might go and I might hold the feet. I might hold the ankles. We do all types. Polarity therapy is body reflexology. If I have a shoulder problem, I might be holding here, and then I can go to the hip and see where that hip and I can find a point that probably is the same and it hurts. So as you look at staying well, one of the things you should explore is do you have an energy practitioner that is qualified and you can work with? Because to stay well, you have to really understand that you have to work in all the stressors of the body. You have to make sure that before you're really intense and stretched before, maybe you can do some breathing. We coach breathing, that's a big part of energy. So stay well by working and learning to balance your energy. Thank you.